uh, look at us. We're like a small family from a small uh, island. And just imagine we're here in the metro, believing that we will make it, believing we'll be able to champion the food from Southern Mindanao to introduce it to the world, hopefully very soon. Hello, I'm King Cabel Moreno and I run Cabel and this is my kuya. <laughs> I'm Chef Miggy Cabel Moreno and I run Palm Grill, the only authentic Southern Mindanaoan restaurant in Luzon. Palm Grill and Cabel belongs to Palatable Corporation. It's a corporation that we established in 2017. It's a family, it's a family thing. Business. It's like the intestines. Yeah. I, I knew at a tender age that I've always wanted to put up a restaurant someday. In Ateneo, the Zamboanga University, we always have a yearly affair called Ateneo Fiesta. I would always sell my mom's Piangang Manok, her version of that uh, Tausog chicken dish. And each and every day, there would be a long line and we would always be sold out just right after lunch. I want to believe my grandparents are beautiful people of that matter because up to now when I have guests from Southern Mindanao they will approach me and they will ask me about my grandparents. It was pure love and service that she offered the Taosu. So hearing these stories from different people, from people who are older, way older than me and they remember my family. So parang it's something that I want to hold on to it and continue their legacy and pass it over to my nieces. My grandmother uh, was an educator turned politician, and then she was the curator, founder of uh, Sulu Museum and Library. Her life, some sort, became of that inspiration for me to be able to follow that legacy. So Palm Grill was established here because it's that introduction to, to, to many who don't know, who has never traveled to this area, the Zambasulta region and area. What to expect, basically? So the three dishes that we presented to you are the uh, piangang manok, we have the tiula itum, and the uh, beef piasak. Of course, I cannot not serve you piangang manok because that started it all for us. At the front of the store, it says most delicious chicken dish because that's our flagship dish, my mom's version of a piangang manok. So what we're, what we're cooking now is the last and final stage of the beef piasak. The beef piasak, uh, it's a tausug dish that also uses the pamapa. The pamapa, or what we call the black pamapa, is what we use to mix together to give it color. It has coconut milk and it uses two kinds of protein. Meron tayong beef and beef liver. Normally, the flavor profile for Tao cuisine or dishes uh, is spicy and very flavorful because there's a lot of coconut milk in it. Tao cuisine uses a lot of coconut. Of course, on top of that, you have the spices like turmeric, lemongrass, regular ginger, garlic, shallots, onions. Yeah. And it's also very important to, to take note that the Tausug cuisine are pre-colonial dishes. This have been done even before the Spaniards came to the Philippines in the 14th, 15th century. Because the Sultanate of Sulu was already flourishing as early as the 13th century. The history and the culture behind the Tausug uh, specialties really fascinated me. You know, uh, Mindanao and especially that part, Zamboanga, Basilan, Sulu, Tawi, Tawi, has always been portrayed negatively, unfortunately. Uh, I don't blame the media completely, but that's just how it used to be. So I wanted to change that perspective. I wanted to change that narrative. And in order for me to be able to do that, sabi ko, food would be the best avenue because it brings people together. So that's why Palm Grill, for me, became that avenue to be able to share the best of the Tausu cuisine, their culture, the heritage, to the people of Manila and to the rest of the world, hopefully. Cabell is a Filipino heritage restaurant. And we thought that it was fitting to put that kind of concept 
in Malacanang because it's right next to the seat of power. And, and because we're very proud of Filipino cuisine, that's why we thought of doing a Luzon Visayas Mindanao take. That's in order for us to have a link of Pongrel to Cabell. Because they offer Mindanao, eh. so, yeah. so a part yeah. of us is part of Cabell. The house was built around 1940s and the families had a place together with my team who helped me build it up. We fell in love with the place because of it's an old feeling, it's an old house. So when we started um, maybe, maybe designing or renovating the place, since we decided to call it Cabell, so we want to make sure that each family member is represented one way or another. For instance, here on the second floor, behind me is what we call Melissa's room. It's named after my mother. My mother is our sunshine, so she's our light. That's why we decided to paint it orange with a yellow light. For the Luzon spread, we decided to make sure we have the ampalaya salad and the pinak bet in the menu. Of course, we also have uh, like the lokon from Zamboanga and the curacha. So we just want to make sure that we get a chance to represent all the the three major islands in the in our country and same goes for our speak easy bar for thirsty king uh, we use lambanog local gin and tuba growing up in Sambuanga city having been born in holosulu i i and my family my siblings were privileged to have been able to be exposed in uh, the cuisines and the culture and the heritage of these places. The family heritage of my grandmother uh, dates back as far as the Sultanates of Sulu. A lot of people say that uh, we hail from the royalties of Sulu. My grandfather, Dr. Heraclio Cabell, is from San Nicolas, Ilocos, and our grandmother is from Sulu. So during the late 1950s, um, my grandfather was tasked to open the Sulu General Hospital. So it's where he met my grandmother and they eventually fell in love. It's like a love story from north to south. My, my grandmother being Holowana, a local from, from the Sultanates, from, uh, and a grandfather who hails from Ilocos Norte, who is a, a Catholic. During those days, it's very harmonious because it doesn't matter whether you're Christian or a Muslim. Once you grew up in Holo, you're considered a Tausug. And to have that harmony and to build a family without boundaries, without segregation, really is that story that up to now I, I, I carry with me. Because it only means that in this life, if, if, if we know how to have balance, it's gonna take us leaps and bounds, and we can just do whatever we can in life. Yeah. It means the world to me. Without the name Cabell, I don't think I will be who I am. My roots basically is who I am. Without Cabell, I wouldn't be able to achieve the things that I have achieved. If I were to be born again in this life, lifetime, I would choose to be a Cabell.